you may be seated. Good afternoon. Welcome to the graduation of the Clear Horizons Early College High School Class of 2013. I can't say that these past four years have been easy. On the contrary, they have tested each of our limits to the fullest, but they have been the most rewarding four years and will be remembered. Our class has worked really hard in everything, from earning 10,580 community service hours to having totaled over $2.3 million in scholarship money. We remember the interesting times during the four years at Chex, snow day, health class, and a stolen cactus, which is yet to be found, visits, projects, the Great Gatsby party, and all of our service learning field trips. From our freshman year with the health class restaurant project and sophomore year with the Dante's Inferno video project and talent show to our junior year with the creation of the running club, which led to the mud run and fitness Friday, to finally our senior year with the powder puff football game, Galveston Beach Restoration Project, movie day, and our senior music video. Our senior class has definitely made new traditions that hopefully will be continued for the new rising seniors. Sometimes we have all wished for the normal high school experience, but really the opportunities, activities, and freedom we have here at Chex balances this out and still allows us to hang out with friends giving us a normal high school experience. Czechs may not be a big and beautiful school, but being such a small class, we have what no other school has, friendship. If we take a step back and really look at all we've accomplished, it should amaze everyone. We have come so far since the ninth grade, and I can't wait to see where we all end up in the future. Without further ado, here are some parting words from a group of seniors. We've been through a lot, and we'll go through more. Life's a journey as much as a chore. More to learn, more to grow, because there's always something you don't know. Whether the concept's old or new, listen up, because I've got some explaining to do. Congratulations, seniors, we did it. Thank you. Please stand for the presentation of colors and the national anthem. Male graduates and male guests, please remove your mortarboards and hats. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleam? Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly stream and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there Oh, say, does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave? <laughs>
may be seated. We want to thank the Clear Creek High School Junior Army ROTC for joining us today for the presentation of colors. They are under the direction of Lieutenant Colonel Wendell Harris. We would also like to thank Ms. Jenny Barash from Clear Creek High School for her wonderful rendition of the National Anthem. At this time, we would like to recognize seniors from the class of 2013 as well as any guests who have joined the military, who are serving, or have previously served in the military. Please stand so we may honor your patriotism and service to our country. Thank you for all your service. You may be seated. I'm honored to introduce our platform guest. Please hold your applause while they are all introduced. Platform guest, please stand briefly as I call your name. From the Clear Creek Independent School District Board of Trustees, Board President, Ms. Ann Hammond. Board, Vice President, Ms. Wynne Weber. Secretary, Paige Rander. Dr. Laura DuPont. Mr. Charles Pond. And Ms. D. Scott. From the Clear Creek Independent School District Educational Service Center, Superintendent Dr. Greg Smith, Deputy Superintendent Dr. Steve Ebell, Assistant Superintendent of Secondary Schools Dr. Alex Torres, Deputy Superintendent of Business and Support Services Mr. Paul McClarty, and Assistant Superintendent, uh, I'm sorry, um, from the Education Director and Curriculum and Instruction Debbie Phillips, from the San Jacinto Community College leadership team, we have Dr. Uh, Deputy Chancellor and San Jacinto College District President, Dr. Laura Williamson, and Director for Dual, uh, Dual Enrollment Services, Ms. Kate Graham. Good afternoon. I'm Brett Limley, and I'm proud to say that I'm the principal of Clear Horizons Early College High School. It is my honor to introduce to you the class of 2013, and I'm going to do so in a different way. Members of the class of 2013, please stand if you have received recognition from the National Merit Scholarship or National Achievement Scholarship Program. Now, please join those standing if you have earned more than 60 college credit hours. And please join them in standing if you have earned more than 40 college credit hours. Congratulations, you may be seated. Members of the class of 2013, Please stand if you have accomplished all of this in three years. Thank you, you may be seated. Please stand if you have worked while attending Clear Horizons. Thank you, you may be seated. Please stand if you are a first generation college graduate. Thank you, you may be seated. Please stand if you plan to complete a four-year college degree. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the very talented class of 2013 for Clear Horizons Early College High School. Thank you, you may be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, we're here today to celebrate the courage and the perseverance of these amazing young men and women. Students, four years ago, you entered high school in a very different setting than almost every other high school student in the state. You've had college classes from the first day, two sets of teachers from which to learn, and no bells or announcements to tell you when to go to the next class. Every high school class you completed was an advanced level course. 
all other classes taken or taken in a college classroom alongside actual college students. Through commitment to your goal and with the support of your classmates, you all made it to graduation. You've all done very, very well. The faculty, staff, and I are so proud of you and we're inspired by the heights to which you have risen. And it's fitting that your class motto is nothing is impossible. The word itself says, I'm possible. You have shown us what is possible when a young person is given the support and the freedom to grow and learn. And I'm here to tell you, it's amazing. The determination that has led you all to a high school diploma and most of you to a college degree will serve you well as you continue along your journey. Clear Horizons wishes you well and we hope to see great things from each and every one of you. It has been my honor to have been associated with you this year and I look forward to seeing and hearing about all of your greatest accomplishments in years to come. Thank you. At this time, I would like to invite Hannah Sokoch to the podium for the salutatorian address, and she will be followed by Marita Joseph for the valedictorian address. <clears throat> Hello, and welcome to the family and friends, staff and students here to celebrate Clear Horizons graduating class of 2013. It is my privilege as salutatorian to tell you our story, how we grew out of our freshman naivete and into the sophisticated, competitive young adults we are now. What, sophisticated? Yes, between asking what was due last night and yelling this is so going on Facebook, we managed to accomplish goals many adults struggle to meet. We graduated from a top-notch accredited college merely weeks ago, and today we graduate from one of the best early college high schools in the nation. Many of us have juggled schools, jo school, jobs, and personal obligations. Now, no wonder we are already shocking administrators at our four-year universities and generally transforming the definition of a normal high school student. And to think we did all of this under the noses of our parents, faculty, and staff who supported us when circumstances were so grim, only hope held our incredible plans together. Have no fear, for as you can see, all of us are here as we knew we would be. I say we and us, but we were not always a true cohort. In freshman year, we clung to the kids we knew from middle school and barely managed to keep up with human geography and biology while staying out of trouble. To give you a realistic picture of what your little angel was up to as a fish, visualize the start of an English class, row after row of 13 and 14 year olds hyper after lunch of Gatorade and cookies, with party in the USA blaring from someone's three, iPhone 3. We had a vague understanding of the concept of an agenda knew the nameless person to our left always had a pen, and the nameless person to our right probably couldn't summarize the spark notes on Lord of the Flies. Sophomore year was not very different. We were a little bit older and none the wiser. The song Dynamite was ubiquitous, playing on an iPhone 4 or Samsung Galaxy near you. English class was suddenly about big kid stuff, like analysis instead of grammar. So at least we felt better about making the same bad grades we made the year before. Besides, now we had WAP to think of. And just thinking about homework on thousands of years of global history is a full-time job. Imagine if we'd actually done some of it. <laughs> oh yeah, we also had to explain and test theories by building roller coasters and dropping raw eggs from, heights, from horrible heights in physics. Our collected, collective burden was too great to bear alone, so we networked. Who has the force and gravity worksheet? Anyone understand the difference between monologue and soliloquy? What did he say about Monopoly? That wasn't on the Stearns Review. It's amazing how well strangers get along when an incomplete major grade looms over the horizon. So we survived being wise fools, and suddenly we were juniors, upperclassmen. We thought we were past the hard part until we, worked, we walked into our philosophy and history classes, and our wizardly professor handed out a foreign thing called a syllabus and said to live by it, which of course meant some of us nearly died in those classes, but the thought of summer school or worse magically resuscitated us. We were drowning in talk of internships, contracts, permissions, SATs, ACTs, and college searches. But we told ourselves we'd think about all of that later, because right now, driving to Sonic for lunch was much more urgent. We could handle one deadline after another better under the influence of caffeine and the pressure. Then came intervention, the, AKA senior team leadership. Not many of us felt like leader material after four hours of sleep, two cups of coffee, and leftovers for breakfast. Now, we had to actually do our part and keep those promises we made in haste to teachers and administrators last spring, 
about applying to colleges and scholarships and putting our best face forward for the underclassmen. Not that we'd forgotten, they wouldn't let us, but we whined every morning, why? I'm gonna go somewhere, eventually. We knew we had three tests, my math lab, and a formal essay due that week. Why add a six-page application and a college visit registration too? It takes serious willpower to study for that exam so you can pass that class, so you can graduate, so you can have a better future. When anthems like We Are Young are blaring in the background. We needed to be reminded of our long-term goals, our purpose at this school, and Naviance became a necessary nightmare. But look where all of that dedication and dragging brought us, dear family, faculty, and staff. We've gathered in this stadium to celebrate the last four years of blackboard sweat and tears. We're thankful to be where we are today, eager to move on, and anxious as the present becomes the past. Because now, we know what we are doing and where we are headed. We know we've reached the moment when we must leave our comfort zone and continue on the path we have just begun to take. It feels as if we're, <coughs> excuse me, it feels as if we were just starting to know each other, to truly understand what we want from our education, to appreciate what we have had all this time. But change is not a stranger to the class of 2013. We have had three principals, two vice principals, three counselors, and numerous secretaries and teachers. We have been a handful. But we are proof that the third time is a charm, for a class anyway. While we were sorting out the differences between FRQs, DBQs, and CRQs, we became the answer to a university's FAQs about the early college high school student. Is our academic performance above standards? Yes. Do we give back to the community that has given us this opportunity? Yes, with a little bit of mandatory encouragement. Will we continue to be generally amazing when we get to our universities? You can bet on it. After all, what did you expect? We made history when we thought no one was looking. In the words of Imagine Dragons, it's time to begin, isn't it? I'll get a little bit bigger, but then I'll admit, I'm just the same as I was. Now don't you understand that I'm never changing who I am? What a perfect embodiment of the young adults you see today. We might have grown, we might move on, but we will not and cannot forget who we are. Because only with the help of God and our families, friends and teachers, have we gotten this far. Thank you. Good afternoon. When a runner runs in a race, he or she has to first finish running to see the final result. Today is that finishing line for each of us. Our race had been sometimes exciting, sometimes exhausting, but what matters the most is that we all have finished one important race in our life and are preparing to begin another one. So congratulations, all of you. I have never, never dreamed of standing where I am or giving a speech, which would have been a nightmare for me. But because about five and a half years ago, I was sitting in a classroom in Victory Lakes Intermediate School trying to understand what my teacher was saying. And I, I couldn't even, I was embarrassed to ask any questions in the fear that others would not understand what I was saying. The journey had not been an easy one, but I would not trade this five and a half years for anything in this world because I learned a lot of things which I would not have if I had not gone through this journey. More than anything, I came to appreciate differences. And God was there when I, at the beginning when I felt lost and scared, and he was there with me with every step I took, and I am grateful to him more than anyone else. Mom and Dad, I'm going to make a confession. I know I've been bad, worse, and sometimes even intolerable, but you were always there with me because they cannot do anything else. And, and guiding me with advice, which I found very offensive back then when they gave it to me, but later on turned out to be the right choices, as always. Take it from me, parents rarely ever make mistakes. It's been proven and overproven with me. So thank you for being in my life. I cannot ask for better. My brother and sister, there were times in high school when I almost felt like a machine taking test after test, turning in projects, homeworks, you know, just being in checks. But those were the times when they chose to annoy me the most. It was like kind of instinct, you know, I, I, they know I have a lot of things, they just come to my room and annoy me. But those were 
even though they annoyed me, it was a very helpful excuse to get my frustration at them and turn human again because I felt like a machine and they come to my room and they annoy me. Finally, I just laugh because I had no other choice. They won't leave unless I do something, you know. So uh, thank you for being in my life. I would not have survived all these years, uh, nor am I planning to survive my future years without your annoying but loving presence. Thank you so much. And my teachers, of course, it's not just my high school teachers, it's my kindergarten teachers, because you have to learn the alphabets, there's no, it's a must. And my elementary school teachers, even though no matter how much you hate math, you have to know addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, unfortunately. Yes, and my intermediate school teachers, they are very, truly very special to me because when I came here from India in sixth grade, not even knowing how to speak the language, if there was anything I was looking forward to, to seeing in school, they, it was their smiling faces. It gave me encouragement. And especially Ms. Tibai, I know she's somewhere here. I don't know, I, don't, I cannot find her, but I know she's here. Especially you, not only you made me love art, you, it's more than that, you gave me the encouragement and strength to face things I was afraid to face and move forward in life. Thank you so much. And of course, the teachers over here. From the beginning itself, they were here to guide us. They were here to take care of us like their own children. And they were here for us during our happy times to be happy for us, during our sad times to be sad for us. And of course, sometimes to tell us, you better do something, uh, you, do, so you better do something when we are not doing the right things. Thank you for being here for us. And one special test-taking method I learned from WAP you can come to take a test with a pencil and a prayer. It had been working with me, uh, it had worked for me for a couple of tests and it hadn't been working for me for most of tests, but I'm taking it with you, that method. And all my teachers, more than anything else, it's your expectations out of me that draw me to do things at least at the last minute, always at the last minute, to be honest. Thank you for being there for me and believing in myself even when I doubted myself. Um, and the Clear Horizon stuff, when we say this school is like a home, we are not exaggerating it. It is a home for us, the graduates, the students over here like, who are still going, in, going to Clear Horizons, and even the graduates who went ahead of us. And the Clear Horizon staff, they play a huge role in making this a beautiful home, and thank you for being there for us and doing everything you have done for us. And my friends, of course, you and there are my friends over there too. And you have helped me cherish these high school years, which I am going to remember for the rest of my life. We have shared our laughter, our tears, our complaints. Yes, and thank you for being there for me and cheering me up every day. Thank you so much. Unfortunately, I don't have much memories common with this class. I wish I had because I'm an early graduate. But we all have one thing in common and that is Clear Horizons. This school made sure we used our potential to the maximum and that's what makes the school unique and special. Because if this school had not literally forced us, many of us here would not have the most astonishing number of volunteer hours. Josie, two semesters of internship, and an associate degree on the day of our high school graduation. I know I wouldn't because before coming to this school, I wasn't even thinking about volunteering. I was planning to spend every single weekend sleeping till noon, which, was, which hasn't worked that well. But yes, and high school students doing internship, that was so unreal. I, I didn't even know that existed. We could do internships, but yes, they forced us to do it pretty much. Thank you though, uh, it helped. And, uh, so like taking college classes during high school, if I hadn't come to this school, I would have been just perfectly happy and fine with just my high school classes. I would have been too scared to take any college classes. Uh, but this school had forced us to come out of our comfort zones and spread our wings to explore the world out there. Yes, there were moments that we thought, oh my God, I cannot believe they are making me do this. But guess what, guys? We have done all those seemingly unpleasant things, and while doing so, we have discovered a part of ourselves. 
My internship in a clinic has made me realize I am actually interested in cardiology, which I found very complicated not a long ago. Just looking at an EKG, it freaked me out. I didn't know our heart was, you know, those lines. Uh, it was, yeah, but I'm actually interested in it, and I, I, I think I can learn it too and understand it. And my volunteer hours, especially in places like Plant a Seed, Feed a Need, has made me realize how much people can appreciate our service. Because I believe there is, there is nothing nobler than being part of an organization which feeds many people in our society. I do realize there are things we missed out coming to this school, but at the end of this high school journey, I think we have come to appreciate and value the things we gained more than the things we missed. This is definitely an emotional moment for each of us because we are leaving behind a lot of things which we took for granted since the freshman year. But it's bittersweet because this is also where an exciting journey begins. But first of all, let me tell this past, even though I didn't have the opportunity to be part of your experience from the beginning itself, you guys are the life of this school. And without a doubt, I know Chex is going to miss you guys, and so am I. I cannot just tell you guys, you guys are going to be the future doctors and engineers because I see much more than that in this group. I see future movie makers, I see future artists, I see future astronauts, comedians, singers, and much more. Um, always remember, as long as your heart beats, it's never too late to chase your dreams, so don't be afraid. And when things don't go as you plan it to go, remember these words of Eugene Butler. Sometimes you have to sink in order to understand what it means to rise. You must fall apart to understand what it means when you're whole. Experience loss in order to truly appreciate what you have. Be in the grasp of true despair to remember what it means to be happy. And if it helps, you can also remember that everything is better than CRQs. Take it from me, it is true. And I don't know if I'm going to see any of the graduates, uh, my teachers, or my fellow classmates who are going to be seniors next year because I am going to India to continue my studies. But I would like to believe we will see somewhere at some point because the world is round. And, but far or near, let's be an inspiration to each other. And together, we will make this place a better place. And when people say this world is getting worse every day, refuse to believe it because you and I are here to make it better. And I will conclude with this saying this anonymous quote. There are two kinds of pain in this world, one that actually hurts and the other that forces you to change. And high school is the second kind, and it was worth embracing this pain with all of you. Thank you. At this time, we welcome Dr. Laura Williamson, Deputy Chancellor and President of San Jacinto College for the President's Address. Good afternoon, graduates, family and friends. Some time ago you embarked on a journey of learning and achievement, and here you are at one of the milestones along that journey. Clear Horizons Early College High School was established in 2007 and it has been a successful partnership from the moment it began. This past year, we have over 400 students in the early college high school, and we have 64 seniors graduating today. And of those 64 seniors, 60 are graduating this year with their high school diplomas and their associate degree from San Jacinto College. This is amazing. I want to thank you students for your efforts for all the study, for the dedication and commitment. You've done a great job. I also want to thank the family and friends here today. It is your support that makes this celebration possible for these students. Without your consistent and unwavering support, our celebration today would not be possible. And finally, I want to thank all the faculty and staff involved in the Clear Horizons Early College High School. Your commitment to student success sits before you today in the person of each student graduating. It is an honor and a privilege to be part of this commencement ceremony. 
San Jacinto College is proud to be a partner in Clear Horizons High School. We feel we are leading the way in showing our communities, our legislators, and our sister colleges and high schools how much we can accomplish if we work together. Whenever I hear about how underprepared high school students are, I have only to look at these students to know how wrong that assumption is. We have great students who will go on to do great things. We have students who will go on to West Point, who will be at the University of Texas, at Texas A&M, at Sam Houston, at the University of Houston. We'll have students in the accelerated medical program at UT San Antonio. We will have students everywhere achieving, accelerating. The list goes on and on. Students, you should take pride in your accomplishments as we take pride in each of you. Thank you for including me today. And again, congratulations to our graduating seniors. You've done good work, but remember this, your journey is not finished. This is only a beginning. It is a commencement. Thank you. And now we welcome Dr. Greg Smith, the Clear Creek Independent School District Superintendent for the Superintendent's Address. Thank you, Dr. Lemley, and thank you, Dr. Williamson. Well, good afternoon and congratulations on charting a path that very few teens have taken time out of their lives to do in this world. You have moxie, you're bold, but most of all, I'm glad that you that you're here today, because I know that you already graduated from college on May 11th. No, really, I'm glad you're here today. I thought you were gonna walk. This is good. This is very, very good. You have proven that when you are passionate about who you are, then that is when you will grow, and that is when you will flourish. Indeed, no one will be a better you. You're part of an elite class that really, truly worked hard to get here today. And I think that that speaks volumes about your commitment to Clear Horizons and the gratitude for all your teachers. I also want to thank San Jacinto Community College for their unwavering support of Clear Horizons Early College High School. This is a partnership like none other. A few years ago, this school was actually one of the best kept secrets in CCISD in the nation today. Yet, it is attracting more applications than available seats, ranked as one of the top high schools in the nation, and perhaps most importantly, Clear Horizons is generating graduates that have shown courage, collaboration, innovation, and self-direction. These are the very skills that colleges and businesses need for the 21st century, and this is what they're getting out of this class. So I guess giving you tips for success after high school will only actually sound somewhat cliche because you've obviously have what it takes and therefore I'll limit my remarks to a couple. As you move forward in this fast lane, please give some consideration to your success and that it isn't necessarily what you accomplish in your life that is as important but what you inspire others to do. Second thought, throughout your academic career thus far, it is safe to say that most of you have avoided Fs on your report card. But today I want you to think about your position on Fs. I want you to think about three Fs. I want you to think about faith, your friends, and your family. For you can't stop the future, you can't rewind the past, and the only way to learn is to press play, and play is best shared through faith, family, and friends. Congratulations, go forth and lead the way. Dr. Smith, I hereby certify that these students have successfully completed the course of study as prescribed by the state of Texas. In addition, they have satisfied all the graduation requirements as stipulated by the Board of Trustees of Clear Creek Independent School District. Dr. Lemmy, since they've already graduated from college, I accept your certification and hereby declare that these students as graduates of Clear Creek Independent School District with all the rights, honors, and privileges appertaining to this degree. Congratulations.
to help ensure that every family member has the opportunity to hear their student's name, we ask that you refrain from yelling using air horns, whistles, or noisemakers. Please remain seated for the entire ceremony until after our graduates recess. We appreciate your cooperation. At this time, we are ready to begin the distribution of diplomas. Nuri Nadia Ali is a Distinguished Achievement Plan graduate, has completed 62 college credit hours and an associate's degree in general studies. Nuri will enroll at University of Houston and major in biology. Daryl Lynn Banks II is a Distinguished Achievement Plan graduate, has completed 66 college credit hours and an associate's degree in general studies. Daryl will enroll at St. John's University and major in psychology, criminology, and justice. Kimberly Ann Belsley is a Distinguished Achievement Plan graduate and has completed 61 college credit hours. Kimberly will enroll at University of Houston Clear Lake and major in special education. Nirmi Bakta is a summa cum laude and Distinguished Achievement Plan graduate, has completed 74 college credit hours and an associate's degree in general studies. Nirmi will enroll at UTMB School of Nursing in Galveston and major in nursing. Stephanie Bridget Borges is a Distinguished Achievement Plan graduate, has completed 63 college credit hours and an associate's degree in general studies. Stephanie will continue at San Jacinto College South to complete her nursing prerequisites to major in nursing. Wardell Raymond Bourgeois, Jr. is a Distinguished Achievement Plan graduate, has completed 62 college credit hours and an associate's degree in general studies. Wardell will enroll at Louisiana State University and major in business. Aisha Sharon Calhoun is a Distinguished Achievement Plan graduate and has completed 62 college credit hours. Aisha will enroll at Stephen F. Austin State University and major in sociology with a minor in English. Raphael Cameron Cavio III is a cum laude and Distinguished Achievement Plan graduate, has completed 64 college credit hours and an associate's degree in general studies. Raphael will enroll at Texas A&M University College Station and major in architecture. Alyssa Nicole Casas is a summa cum laude and Distinguished Achievement Plan graduate, has completed 63 college credit hours and an associate's degree in general studies. Alyssa will enroll at University of Houston Clear Lake and major in computer science. Jamie Paulette Kazarine Marr is a Distinguished Achievement Plan graduate, has completed 75 college credit hours and an associate's degree in general studies. Jamie will continue at San Jacinto College South, completing her nursing prerequisites to major in neonatal nursing. Caitlin Ava Shane Descant has completed 45 college credit hours. Caitlin will enroll at University of Houston Clear Lake and major in English. Farah Raju Damani is a cum laude and Distinguished Achievement Plan graduate has completed 77 college credit hours and an associate's degree in general studies. Farrell will enroll at UTMB School of Nursing and major in nursing. Kevin Philip Diaz is a Distinguished Achievement Plan graduate, has completed 63 college credit hours and an associate's degree in general studies. Kevin will continue at San Jacinto College Central to complete his prerequisites to major in radiology. On Non Christopher Doe is a Distinguished Achievement Plan graduate, has completed 66 college credit hours and an associate's degree in general studies. Chris will enroll at University of Houston Clear Lake and major in biochemistry. Non Trong Quang Doe is a summa cum laude and Distinguished Achievement Plan graduate, has completed 78 college credit hours and an associate's degree in general studies. Non will enroll at University of Texas at Austin and major in electrical engineering. Basant Raji El Shazli is a magna cum laude and Distinguished Achievement Plan graduate, has completed 69 college credit hours and an associate's degree in general studies. Basant will enroll, enroll in University of Houston's honor program to major in accounting with a certification in oil and gas. Ryan Christopher Farrell is a Distinguished Achievement Plan graduate, has completed 62 college credit hours and an associate's degree in general studies. Ryan will enroll at Louisiana State University and major in business. Haley Gracia is a Distinguished Achievement Plan graduate, 
has completed 63 college credit hours. Haley will continue at San Jacinto College South to complete her prerequisites to major in biomedical studies. Alejandro Guevara is a Distinguished Achievement Plan graduate and has completed 59 college credit hours. Alejandro will enroll at University of Houston and major in mechanical engineering. Claude Mark Hardy is a cum laude and Distinguished Achievement Plan graduate, has completed 73 college credit hours and an associate's degree in general studies. Claude will enroll at University of Texas San Antonio Honors College and major in public health. Omar Harmouche is a summa cum laude and Distinguished Achievement Plan graduate, has completed 64 college credit hours and an associate's degree in general studies. Omar will enroll at the University of Houston and major in biology. Danielle Fedra Hernandez is a Distinguished Achievement Plan graduate, has completed 62 college credit hours and an associate's degree in general studies. Danielle will enroll at Stephen F. Austin State University and major in speech language pathology. Karen Nicole Holland has completed 62 college credit hours and an associate's degree in general studies. Kara will enroll at Stephen F. Austin State University and major in psychology. Andrea Elaine Irving is a Distinguished Achievement Plan graduate, has completed 61 college credit hours. Andrea will enroll at the University of North Texas and major in instructional design. Jenna Marie Jargon is a cum laude and Distinguished Achievement Plan graduate has completed 68 college credit hours and an associate's degree in general studies. Jenna will enroll at University of Texas San Antonio and major in biology. Marita Joseph is our valedictorian, is a summa cum laude and distinguished achievement plan graduate, has completed 70 college credit hours and an associate's degree in life science. Marita will enroll at Amrita Institute of Medical Sciences in India and major in cardiology. Joel E. Joy is a Distinguished Achievement Plan graduate, has completed 72 college credit hours and an associate's degree in general studies. Joel will enroll at Texas Tech University and major in petroleum engineering. Travis Lee Kane is a magna cum laude graduate, has completed 79 college credit hours and an associate's degree in general studies. Travis will enroll at University of Houston and major in creative writing. Catherine Lois Keenan is a summa cum laude and Distinguished Achievement Plan graduate, has completed 72 college credit hours and an associate's degree in general studies. Catherine will enroll at the University of Texas, Austin, and major in journalism with a minor in Middle East studies. Alexander Milton Krauss is a Distinguished Plan Achievement graduate, has completed 76 college credit hours and an associate's degree in general studies. Alexander will enroll at University of North Texas and major in geography focused on earth science. Alexander Joseph La Rochelle is a Distinguished Achievement Plan graduate, has completed 66 college credit hours and an associate's degree in general studies. Alexander will enroll at United States Military Academy at West Point and major in mechanical engineering. Joey D. LeBeau Harrison is a Distinguished Achievement Plan graduate has completed 62 college credit hours and an associate's degree in general studies. Joey will enroll at University of Houston Clear Lake and major in business. Sharon Ann Lott is a Distinguished Achievement Plan graduate, has completed 63 college credit hours and an associate's degree in general studies. Sharon will enroll at University of North Texas and major in studio art. Camila Martinez Papalardo is a Distinguished Achievement Plan graduate and has completed 70 college credit hours. Camila will enroll at Stephen F. Austin State University and major in nursing. Josephine Marine Moore is a magna cum laude and Distinguished Achievement Plan graduate, has completed 63 college credit hours and an associate's degree in general studies. Josephine will enroll at A&M Galveston and major in marine biology. Kiara Elise Moore is a summa cum laude and Distinguished Achievement Plan graduate, has completed 64 college credit hours and an associate's degree in mathematics. Kiara will enroll at University of Houston Honors Program and major in mathematics education and American Sign Language Interpreting. Iman A. Mohdaseb is a Distinguished Achievement Plan graduate, has completed 62 college credit hours and an associate's degree in general studies. Iman will enroll at University of Houston and major in biology. Bao Justin Nguyen is a Distinguished Achievement Plan graduate, has completed 64 college credit hours and an associate's degree in general studies. 
Bao will enroll at University of Houston and major in biomedical engineering. Vincent Van Nguyen is a summa cum laude and distinguished achievement plan graduate, has completed 68 college credit hours and an associate's degree in general studies. Vincent will enroll at University of Texas San Antonio's facilitated acceptance to medical education program and major in biology. Hanel Rusik Patel is a distinguished achievement plan graduate, has completed 71 college credit hours and an associate's degree in general studies. Hanel will enroll at University of Texas San Antonio and major in architecture. Severa Ajaz Patoli is a distinguished achievement plan graduate has completed 63 college credit hours and an associate's degree in general studies. Severa will enroll at Hofstra University and major in neurology. Madeline Kumari Patterson is a distinguished achievement plan graduate, has completed 62 college credit hours and an associate's degree in business. Madeline will enroll at University of Houston and major in accounting. Lainey Michelle Pizzitola is a distinguished achievement plan graduate has completed 64 college credit hours and an associate's degree in general studies. Laney will enroll at University of Houston and major in biomedical engineering. Samuel Weber Reedus is a cum laude and distinguished achievement plan graduate, has completed 63 college credit hours and an associate's degree in general studies. Samuel will enroll at University of Houston and major in microeconomics with a minor in communications. And loves his aunt very much. Xavier Enrique Reyes is a Distinguished Achievement Plan graduate, has completed 66 college credit hours and an associate's degree in general studies. Xavier will enroll at University of Houston Clear Lake and major in computer engineering. Sebastian Rico is a Distinguished Achievement Plan graduate, has completed 64 college credit hours and an associate's degree in general studies. Sebastian will enroll at University of Houston and major in biomedical engineering. Andrea Carolina Rodriguez is a summa cum laude and distinguished achievement plan graduate, has completed 71 college credit hours and an associate's degree in general studies. Andrea will enroll at University of Texas Austin and major in kinesiology. Janina Rosa is a distinguished achievement plan graduate, has completed 73 college credit hours and an associate's degree in general studies. Janina will enroll at Lamar University and major in exercise science and fitness management. Christian Nicholas Rose is a Distinguished Achievement Plan graduate, graduate, has completed 61 college credit hours and an associate's degree in general studies. Christian will enroll at University of Texas El Paso and major in film production. Amanda Lee Self is a summa cum laude and Distinguished Achievement Plan graduate, has completed 64 college credit hours and an associate's degree in general studies. Amanda will enroll at Texas A&M Galveston and major in marine biology. Amber Mary Shama is a cum laude and Distinguished Achievement Plan graduate, has completed 63 college credit hours and an associate's degree in general studies. Amber will enroll at Texas A&M University and major in visualization, 3D modeling, and animation. Nissa Farhat Sheikh has completed 47 college credit hours. Nissa will enroll at University of Houston and major in radiology. Irie Angel Como Smith is a Distinguished Achievement Plan graduate, has completed 62 college credit hours and an associate's degree in general studies. Ivy will enroll at Stephen F. Austin State University and major in anesthetic nursing. Esther Elizabeth Spaniel is a Distinguished Achievement Plan graduate and has completed 64 college credit hours. Esther will enroll at University of Mary Hardin Baylor and major in biology and business. John Dillon Story is a Distinguished Achievement Plan graduate, has completed 63 college credit hours and an associate's degree in general studies. John will enroll at Lamar University and major in civil engineering. Joshua James Swallow is a summa cum laude and a Distinguished Achievement Plan graduate, has completed 67 college credit hours and an associate's degree in general, uh, in general studies. Joshua will enroll at Texas A&M University College Station and major in business. Hannah Gabrielle Sokoch is our salutatorian, is a summa cum laude and a distinguished achievement plan graduate, has completed 74 college credit hours and an associate's degree in biology. Hannah will enroll at Texas Woman's University and major in registered nursing. Christopher Joseph Leandro Chenega is a cum laude and distinguished achievement plan graduate, has completed 63 college credit hours and an associate's degree in general studies. 
Christopher will enroll at Greystone Preparatory School at Shriner University and major in systems engineering. Nikolaya Patrick Taylor is a cum laude and distinguished achievement plan graduate, has completed 61 college credit hours and an associate's degree in general studies. Nikolaya will enroll at University of Houston and major in computer, computer science. Micah Thomas is a distinguished achievement plan graduate, has completed 75 college credit hours and an associate's degree in general studies. Micah will enroll at University of Houston and major in electrical engineering. Nicholas Dana Troutman is a magna cum laude and a distinguished achievement plan graduate, has completed 77 college credit hours and an associate's degree in general studies. Nicholas will enroll at University of Houston Honors College and major in mechanical engineering and mathematics. Alexa Heather Alexandra Woods is a distinguished achievement plan graduate, has completed 63 college credit hours and an associate's degree in general studies. Heather will enroll at University of North Texas and major in international studies and foreign language. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a privilege to introduce the 2013 graduates of Clear Horizons Early College High School. Graduates, I commend you on your earning your high school diploma and associate's degree. At this time, please move your tassels to the left, signifying that you are now alumni of Clear Horizons Early College High School. And now our student body treasurer will provide us with some closing thoughts. Gotham City Police Commissioner James Gordon once said, you're gonna go out in the world and make a difference. Whatever you do, remember that you're going to make a difference. A lot of times it won't be huge, it won't be visible even, but it will matter just the same. But don't do it for praise or money. That's what I want to tell you. Do it because it needs to be done. Do it to make your world better, just a little at a time. Four years ago, we made a commitment to better ourselves and reach our potential. And today, we have reached a commendable milestone. As we go off today, we begin another leg on our journey to self-fulfillment, be it at a university, a career, or a well-deserved break. So congratulations, classmates, and best of luck on all your endeavors. Please stand and honor the class of 2013 as they recess. The class of 2013 will proceed to the entrance of Veterans Memorial Stadium for our traditional Hats on the Lawn celebration. Thank you. <laughs> 